So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Now, Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. <laughs> oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good meet on. I can do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. <coughs> hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. bridge there is what you would call rickety. <clears throat> who made these cairns? Must be a trail marker. Let's keep an eye out for them. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Hey, careful, kid. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. For that rock pile? Technically, it's called a cairn. Yeah, I, I don't like to say that word. It just Onward sounds weird. Cairn. 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 Nope, nope, I don't like it. Get nowhere fast. Easy. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it.
got mud in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> guys <laughs> I got mud in my mouth <laughs> whoops Tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Shit! Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. But with Nate being so eager, he doubled the price. He would have doubled it anyway. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? All right, hang on tight. Take this slow. Yeah. So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. So uh, maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go. And no. That was a 
valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. There's definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing them info. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victory. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Another cairn. Rock pile. Sorry, Sam Wright. Rock pile. Thank you. Let's see here. You see something?
Thanks for waiting. So someone worked very hard to stack those rocks. Stay put. See ya. Let's go. Types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight to them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Life's looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Mm. Well, how long we posted yet? It's all orders come in. Any news from the other side? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it. Damn, yeah, Wraith and Nate must have dozens of guys out here. They, they can just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail.
Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? against getting ripped off. Easy. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Wraith? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. So 
The rape's got the advantage there. Hey, knocking these over isn't bad luck, is it? Don't think so. It's kind of rude. Uh, one sec. Now bring me back something nice. Let's roll. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. Um, hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? <clears throat> ah, hell. Can't jump that high. 